Developing strength through range is a misunderstood part of flexibility training. People seem to think that stretching alone will make you flexible, and it's just not true. In this series on the flexibility blueprint, we're discussing three key concepts. In video one, we talked about the importance of understanding what flexibility gains mean. In this video, we will learn about developing strength through range. And in lesson three, we will discuss the importance of modern stretching methods. Developing strength through range refers to a training method that promotes full range of motion movements under load. But most people lift weight with their ego, focusing more on how much they can lift rather than training full range of motion. This ensures that you stay stiff and inflexible. But if you can leave your ego at the door and lift lighter weights, but with full range of motion, then you'll get much more flexible as you get stronger. At Unity Gym, we also train opposing movements and muscle systems in the same workout to maximize flexibility gains and be as efficient as possible. Your body is arranged to have muscles that are antagonistic to one another. For this example, I'll talk about shoulder flexion and extension, as these are two common movements that people want to improve their flexibility in to increase performance and reduce pain. The muscles responsible for shoulder flexion, your pec major and anterior deltoid, have an inverse push-pull relationship with the muscles responsible for shoulder extension, the lats and posterior deltoid, meaning they can antagonize one another. What happens is that when you contract your shoulder flexors hard at end range of motion, you are relaxing or releasing some of the stretch that's occurring in those intrafusal spindle sensory fibers going into your spinal cord. And as a result, you're able to stretch your shoulder extensors further, or more accurately, your lat and posterior deltoid range of motion is greater when you aren't engaging that spindle reflex, which would cause those muscles to contract. Although there are a variety of reasons you might have tight lat and posterior deltoids, most commonly it's related to the neural spindle reflex, which, as you've just seen, can be overrun by contracting the opposite antagonistic muscle. The actual muscle and tendons change little. What changed was the patterns of neural activation restricting you from stretching. When you contract your pec major and anterior deltoids, aka the shoulder flexors, you're overriding the spindle acting as a brake, inhibiting the range of motion in your lats and posterior deltoids, aka shoulder extensors. When you develop strength through the joint's full range of motion, you reinforce that more flexibility is safe and you effectively delay the brain's natural safety mechanism that would otherwise inhibit flexibility. The best way to develop strength through range is by using a combination of traditional strength training exercises like deep squats, split squats and Cossack squats for the lower body and variations of vertical and horizontal pushing and pulling for the upper body using antagonistic movements in the same workout in a one-to-one -one ratio. If you combine that with modern stretching methods, that's when you unlock advanced flexibility. I'm gonna talk about that in lesson three. So if you just click the link and I'll see you in that next video.